Oh, did you guys see that? Yes. Golly, that small mouth smashed it. We're down here doing my favorite thing in the world today, wade fish in the river for smallmouth. Man, just nothing beats it. So let's just get to it, see what we can do. Thanks for watching. About lost it there, boys. One thing, these rocks in the river are so slippery, hard to keep your balance. I recommend a good pair of polarized sunglasses too, so you can kind of help you see the bottom, take the glare off the water. You're gonna have a real hard time getting around without them. Oh, did you guys see that? Yes. Golly. That small mouth smashed it. Oh yeah. The old whopper plopper came through. It's not a, it's just a small one. But man, it's a lot of fun. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I might have a pliers for this one. I thought it would get the old top water bike going this morning. What was that? A big old car for something jump out there. You guys see that? All right. And there he is, the little fella. Let's let him go. Well, that's a fun way to start the morning. He smashed it. Thank you. I hooked a bird just then. Oh man. Got another good one, guys. He hit me right in this strong current. I didn't get the strike. Had my camera off. Oh yeah. There he is. Woo! And number three. Come here, baby. He ate that thing too. Come on now. There he is. Not a bad little small man. About a pounder, maybe. There you go. There you go, buddy. Thank you, Lord. That's 
It's always a blast. Even though it's still early in the day and it's been extremely hot out here, man, when you got an overcast day like we've got today, it's worth a shot throwing top water. You're not going to get bit as much most of the time. Like I said, when you do, man, is it fun. fish in East Tennessee, wading the river. Nothing beats it. Come on, baby. Gosh, they get you. They just, they feel huge in this current. Oh. It's not a bad one at all. It's not a monster. But he's definitely a nice biggest Come on now. Heck yeah, that's a good one actually, ladies and gentlemen. Biggest one yet. Well, if I can get him. Oh man, he's got those hooks in there deep. Let's see. These whopper flopper hooks are extremely sharp. I'm about to get it. All right. Get it situated here. Yeah, look at that. Not bad at all. Another pretty small one. There you go. There you go. All right. Man, that sucker absolutely killed it. They're getting bigger, folks. This is just fine fishing right here. If you're watching and you're new to fishing, hey, anybody can do this. Like I said earlier, get your fishing pole, a few fishing lures, some shoes to wade in, a pair of swimming trunks, get you a little sling bag to throw over your back, get out there and do it. You won't regret it, because it is a blast. Pick up on what to look for, where to cast, what to throw certain times of the year, things like that. And if you're like me, you're always learning. You never stop learning fishing. There's always some new lure comes out or a new technique or a new way of fishing, an old lure. Fishermen are eternal optimists because you never know that very next cast 
if you're going to catch a monster fish, your personal best. You just never know. That's what makes it so much fun. What happened there, buddy? Yeah, it looks okay. I'm throwing a Whopper Plopper 90F River to Sea. I believe it's a uh, perch colored one. If you are watching and you enjoy it, you're checking my video out and you're not subscribed, maybe this is the first time you've watched it. Um, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe, hit that like button. I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers. I think I'm at 95, so I'm getting close. But I really appreciate it, guys, and hopefully I can get out and start making more videos. My plan was, when I first got this GoPro back in the fall, was to start making videos pretty consistent. I was going to at least try to get one a week, but you know how plans go. My dad has, uh, he was diagnosed with cancer and got pretty bad sick, so I've been trying to help him and take care of him. And on a happy note, I just had a baby boy three weeks ago. And uh, that's kept me pretty busy too. But I'm going to do my best to get out and make more videos for y'all to watch and enjoy, hopefully. And maybe we can learn some things together and go on some adventures. Well, what would I would give for a good rain jacket right about now? I wonder if I can make it up underneath the bridge up there. Oh, oh, golly. Did you guys see that? Missed him. Let's go back in that spot so we can't get him to hit again. Oh, no. There we go. Come on, baby. Do it again. Ah. Man. Wouldn't it be nice to see a big and just crush it right about now? Oh, oh, Whew. missed him. This is tricky. Get everything. <sighs> All right. We made it.
take away long as it should have. Goodness, that tree limb wasn't attached, or that lure would be long gone, folks. Golly, what a mess! Got him at time. Yes. Oh yeah, it's a nice. One. Whoa. Yeah. Yes. Quick release. Man. That was a good one there. Just didn't have him hooked good. That thing hit, followed that bait and hit it three or four times before I finally hooked him. That's pretty cool. Goes a gar. Y'all can see, there he goes. Big old carp. Come on, small mouth. came off. Man, I don't know if I got that on camera or not. He absolutely killed it. God. I mean, crushed it. That was so cool. Golly.
surely we'll pick up at least one more fish on our way out of here. Okay, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you next time. Please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. God bless you, and we'll see you next time.